99, I've been waiting so long. Oh, 99, where did we go wrong? Oh, 99, I love you. Hey, what's up YouTube, this is John. I've been a Tesla owner for over a year, having purchased a Model Y in June of 2020, shortly after it went into production. As my second electric vehicle and my first Tesla, I've been very happy with it. Well, why do you ask? For three reasons. One, the acceleration is really cool. Two, I don't get worried if the cost of gas goes up. And three, the technology in this vehicle has been a game changer for the way that I drive. What I mean by game changing is that this is the first car I've owned that not only has adaptive cruise control, but actually drives itself around corners and changes lanes to pass other vehicles. I initially purchased my Model Y with basic autopilot, but later bought the full self-driving capability to know that it would be upgradable as Tesla continued to develop its full self-driving program. Earlier this year, Tesla announced a beta update to full self-driving that expands what is already a great feature on highways to include automatic navigation on city streets for the potential of a full start-to-stop automated driving experience. In late September, Tesla pushed out a software update to all vehicles that allowed owners to opt into a beta program which they stated would be given to drivers according to a safety score that's based on the five factors that are listed here. Owners that are requesting the full self-driving update are required to agree to have driving monitored using vehicle driving data to determine a safety score in order to receive the update. While many have questioned whether success in these areas correlate with being a safe driver, these are the areas that Tesla has determined they will monitor before releasing the full self-driving upgrade to owners. Several weeks ago, Elon announced that the full self-driving beta upgrade would be released to drivers with a safety score of 100 out of 100. Now this occurred on October 11th with the full self-driving version 10.2. Last week, the version 10.3 released was announced with news that drivers with a score of 99 would be included in the beta testing program. While this release was anticipated for Friday, October 22nd, last minute safety concerns discovered with 10.3 caused a delay in releasing at least until Sunday the 24th. While this can be frustrating to those of us that have purchased or leased the full self-driving capability and are interested in the upgrade, I also see the merit in waiting for updates to assure safety and also to avoid minor issues observed such as curbing rims with premature turning while in navigation. In my last video, I discussed my safety score of 98. So what is my updated safety score after driving 2,200 miles over the last 27 days? Well, you probably guessed from the opening line that I borrowed from a Toto song that my score is now 99. If I do get the full self-driving beta upgrade this weekend, I will post a short video to let you know when that occurred. Well, you never guess what happened. I came out to plug in my car to charge tonight and I saw that there was a little software update going on. So here we go. I'm gonna check this out. It says software update available. Let's go ahead and hit that. And let's install it now. So I did confirm that software version 2021.36.5.2 contains the full self-driving beta 10.3 upgrade. Um, that means that when the upgrade is finished installing, I should have the option to enable full self-driving beta. So there you go. I finally came to the 99s, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have questions or thoughts about this topic or would like to share an idea for a future video, please leave a comment down below and consider subscribing for more content such as this. And always, thank you for watching.